Hello and welcome to another update video about the DXY, the US dollar index. Um, just wanted to give you an overview. Obviously, the DXY topped in September 22. That's been my perspective for a while. That view really hasn't changed. Um, the idea was we had an A wave down, which was actually a five wave pattern. An A wave low into the February, well, the February lows. Um, what we wanted to see then was just a, a basically, a, yeah, pretty substantial B wave. It was basically just a boring sideways correction, which also unfolded. Um, however, it was quite deceptive with that with that move to the downside. It could have been at the time that this year was already the B wave, but it but it basically formed this kind of expanded flat structure. And in the primary scenario, this year is the B wave top, the top in October last year. And the market could now be on its way down, but I'd like to see now, I'd like to see this decline um, unfold further, yeah? I'd like to see this decline unfold further. I'm just watching if we see a reaction somewhere in this region here, in this resistance area, and then this the, the third wave down, the fourth and the fifth, should actually take us into the low $90 region. That's what I'm watching for. And then this could be either a fourth wave low after the third wave top tier, or it is an A wave low of that wave four, okay? And we see a much larger B wave and so on. You know, it's gonna be painful, but this is where it's it's playing out. But obviously you can see it. Um, it's not a done deal that we're coming down there. There is, um, it, it depends now. I mean, this market is currently trending up. Okay, so we're in an uptrend, in a local uptrend, which started end of December. So basically, I mean, for, you know, for one and a half months, basically, the market has been trending up. So we shouldn't just conclude that we will get that reversal to the downside from here. No, um, basically, it's all about watching certain levels break. And I will highlight which levels I want to see broken to confirm that this third wave to the downside is unfolding. And... Yeah, it depends a little bit on where it's topping, but I mentioned <clears throat> I mentioned in previous updates potential targets for this third wave down there. And um, my minimum, my minimum target for that third wave down in the C wave is $96.93 based on the latest high, but if it pushes a little higher, also the downside target will be a little higher. The ideal target would be at $96, um, or let's say the first ideal target, it can always go a little lower. Yeah, basically $96.40, or no, sorry, $96 to $94.58 would be my ideal targets. That's what I'm watching, wave one down, wave two up. Let's see if we get that third wave down. However, if we do not start to see certain levels break that we will talk about in a minute, um, the alternative would be that this is still a B wave in the making. That is absolutely possible. How would that unfold? Well, we would have to consider that um, all of this was just an A wave. The move down was the B wave and we're now moving up in a C wave. Okay, so it would just be painful. That is possible. That would not change the overall structure and assumption, but it would just make this entire B wave painful, more painful and would lead us to further upside, okay? Uh, I will start to really consider that if we get a break above 105.88. But even now, I mean, the trend is up, okay? So we always have to go with the trend, recognize it. I'm counting that as an ABC structure to the upside. It's extremely choppy, this move. But I can tell you that it's forming higher highs, higher lows. So I'm not going to say it's going to break down from here, right? I don't want to um, <laughs> tell you the top is in without having any evidence for it. So what I now need to see initially is a break below the $103.91 level initially to suggest that a top is formed in this C wave. Um, there are different, you know, you can count that in different ways. I mean, you could say that this year was already a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, four, five. Could be in, right? C wave as an ending diagonal, absolutely possible. But there are too many ways how I can count that. So... Therefore, I need to see minimally a break below $103.90. Without that, I wouldn't even, I don't even want to consider that top is in place. Better would be a break below those swing lows here from end of January. 
and the key level here would be $102.78. I think then we can map out the detailed structure of the third wave to the downside. Until then, we have to consider that we are still going to trend higher with the next resistance at 105.88 if the market breaks above the previous high, which was formed basically around the golden ratio level here, but more specifically, it was around $104.99. So that's sort of the idea here. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna go with the trend and I just need to see further evidence as a result of, uh, yeah, basically one of the reactions here to these resistance levels and the break below at least some micro support to suggest that the trend to the downside is unfolding. You might always uh, also want to add here, maybe, um, I mean, the trend lines aren't very, well, maybe, maybe this as a trend line. Okay, let me take the other ones out here. Um, could be a first initial indication that things are breaking, you know, getting below that trend line. But um, better would be a break below these swing lows. But then, yeah, as I said, primary um, count is still that we should see a third wave down. And if we don't, okay, then I would see this as an extension of the B wave. It would simply delay that sell-off and would be just much more, much more painful, you know, much just much more painful sideways action. Okay. That's my update about the DXY. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, check out the S&P 500 and stock service. You'll find a link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.